Okay, so I have never done like an official tag video um, and I just thought that this one would be a good one to do. It is a hundred random facts and that takes a while so I'm going to just go ahead and get started. Dishes are my least favorite thing to do in life, like least favorite thing. In college I used to get in trouble from all my roommates because I would never want to do my dishes and then I would be like, no, I swear that wasn't my dish. I did not, I did not leave that ranch d dressing on that plate. Now that it's incredibly hard to scrub off, I'm sorry, I don't know who did that. I am like a huge hugger. I love to give hugs to people all the time. Like every time I see them, I like to give hugs. If you are someone who doesn't like to hug, it seriously makes me uncomfortable because I'm like having to hold myself back. I have two brothers that are much older than me. They're in their 40s, so I'm the baby. That's right, I just added I was 14 when I became an aunt for the very first time. I always like to sleep with bank blankets on, and I live in Texas, so it's really hot here, but it's always air conditioning, so I don't know, for some reason, it's just like I cannot sleep unless a blanket is on me. If you run with a backpack on, you're called a backpack runner, and I will make fun of you. I pretty much can't stop laughing every time I see someone running with a backpack on. It's hilarious. I have three kids and I want more. My husband does not. I love to eat sushi at the sushi bar part, like when I'm eating it, because I feel like they have like the best suggestions to give you on what you should order. And they, I like to just like talk with the guys or girls, but it's mainly guys making the sushi. So if you go with me, I like to sit at the My bar. My favorite wine costs $6. I'm like a cheap day. I don't eat fast food, hardly ever. If I am like forced to, then then I will, but like the thought of McDonald's makes me nauseous. I used to order pintos and cheese from Taco Bell like every single time in college that I would go there. I, I'm pretty sure I don't know anyone who does that, but my boyfriend when I was 16 used to order that and I was like, mm, that sounds good. And it is. I worked for Victoria's Secret in college for four years and I still don't know her secret. I don't like to talk on the phone to new people. It makes me nervous, which is ironic because I've, all of my friends live far away from me, but if you're like a new person and I have to call you on the phone, it makes me nervous so I was really glad when people invented text messaging before I had my kids I used to talk to my mom on the phone at least three times a day um, we live far apart because I live in Texas and she lives in Michigan so or when I was in college or whenever I just talked to my mom a lot um, but now I have mm, hardly any free time to do so so I don't talk to her as much but probably at least once a day if I don't call her for like two days she calls me and she's like What's I like wrong? the tops of muffins only I mean I could do without the bottom part I hate cake and I hate donuts I kiss people on the cheek like often when I'm with them I used to kiss my husband all the time it was like a compulsion I mean you think I'm kidding and I told him one day you're gonna miss when I don't do this anymore and when I had kids I like kiss them. I love to watch crime scene shows like anything to do with crime or like solving a mystery because one of my goals in life is to solve a mystery and I'm pretty sure I will I'm gonna solve a mystery I think I've solved one on unsolved mysteries but my husband won't let me contact the people because it deals with like birth parents and stuff but I know I saw my kids at least a thousand times a day and if you think I'm kidding I counted once my twins were little I used to kiss their cheeks so much that I would chap it I took four years of Spanish and I don't know how to say a lick I have it. only had my hair blonde I've never had any other color I really want to dye it like a deep dark auburn red but I just feel like I'm a blonde both my twins have red hair so maybe that's why I want to dye my hair red I was a cheerleader all through high school I know you're surprised Ra 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 shish kumba. I played tennis basketball, golf, swimming, ballet, jazz, tap, gymnastics, soccer, cheerleading, everything but softball, basically. My mom made me, like, do every sport. I got a hole-in-one when I was 13, um, playing golf. Obviously, that's what a hole-in-one is. But my dad told me I couldn't quit playing golf until I got a hole-in-one because, obviously, he thought I never would. And I did, so I quit. People always tell me I look young and that one day I'll appreciate hearing that and the day has come because now that I'm 30 I appreciate hearing I it. I could eat pizza every single day. Seriously, I really could. I drink 32 ounces of water a day. It started when I was pregnant with my twins. I did it to like basically you had to drink a lot of water to keep yourself hydrated and so I just got in the habit and I still do it. It makes fun of me because I carry around this like jug bottle and when I was pregnant I used to be like hand me my juggy, hand me my juggy. So all my friends make fun of me because I was so bossy and told them them to hand me my juggy. I want to be buried with bright lipstick on, so take note if I die. I've never had braces. Um, I always wanted them, and I always wanted crutches too. I don't know why I want to be injured or like have something wrong with me, but I did. I used to wear fake glasses, 
and ironically now I have real glasses and I never wear them. I don't sweat ever. Like under my arms never gets sweaty. I don't know what to tell you. I mean I wear deodorant sort of occasionally but like if I don't put it on a day I don't notice because it never smells and I don't sweat under there. Like do you think I'm gross now? Uh, when my parents were playing golf at like our local country club when I was six I drove the golf cart into the ditch and it's like still talked about around those parts. My first job was at Domino's Pizza and I used to mess up orders just so I could like eat the pizza because I was like the phone girl and if I messed up the order and I was like oh whoops I meant to tell you it was this then I would get to eat the pizza and so obviously since you know I eat pizza I could eat pizza every day I really liked that job and I was really thin in high school like under 100 pounds so it was no problem to eat pizza every day then. Those were the days. I had 15 different bottles of shampoo in my shower and I counted for this specific reason because I get bored. I like to change it up. I fall asleep most nights watching Dateline because I don't know something about Keith Morrison's voice just puts me right to sleep. Little Mermaid is my favorite Disney movie and maybe it's because she has red hair and my little girls have red hair but I just love that movie. I'm an awesome shower singer. I'm not kidding you guys. I thought I would be famous because of my shower singing. I still consider that I might be. I, I was a teacher for four years um, before I had kids and I taught children with autism and that is something that I am super passionate about is children with autism. I usually use a purse for like at least a year or two before I will switch it out. I some of my friends have to like give me the word like you've been carrying that purse too long you need to change it. I like to dye my friends hair just for fun. They ask me to and I do and I really enjoy doing it. I went a year without taking a single photo of myself after I had my twins and I gained a bunch of weight um, until my husband kind of made me um, take photos again but actually it was like in between the fact where it was like okay to still be overweight after having the twins it was like the year after they were born because people gave me like a gracious year and then they'd always be like well you had twins and I'm like yeah I know but that was a while ago I have a cooking blog because I started it because all my friends used to ask me what's that recipe what's that recipe and I always pull recipes out of magazines and stuff this was like before Pinterest and I just was like I need a place to put all the recipes that I cook and I need to go through and start cooking the recipes that I've been collecting for years so I have a cooking blog and the link is in the down bar my husband is my best friend and we are really a team I got married at 22 and I met him at 20 so we've been together for a long time I am friends with all my ex-boyfriends I have like a real problem with like letting go with people I just have trouble cutting ties I actively try and mark things off my bucket list every year I love to play games and eat pizza like that is what my family teases me about is my favorite thing to do like I like to just sit around and play card games any type of game and eat pizza I mean how many times am I gonna say I like pizza in this thing I like pizza I mean what can I say steel magnolias and beaches are my two favorite movies of all time I created a signature voice for my mom and it started in college uh, and it has caught on like wildfire almost every single person I know like does this voice for my mom and for other people and I'll just give you a little example of it well, where's he gonna sleep? Because my mom has a northern accent. Not really. It's not really that strong, but I don't know. I just, that, it morphed into that. Kind of like Bobby's mom from Bobby's World. Well, don't you know, friends. I love Greek salads from Panera more than anything. I'm starting to laugh from doing my mom's voice. Sorry. My mom always told me to sell Mary Kay because she thought I'd be really good at it, but something about people that sell Mary Kay bother me. I don't know. It's just like they can't get off your case. I like to have frequent dance parties with my girls where we turn on tunes and we just go to town dancing. I had my kids without having a c-section, my twins. Um, I push those little girls out so where's my medal? My favorite quote is be the change you wish to see in the world and that's from Gandhi. I pierced my own cartilage when I was at camp when I was 14 years old and my mom pretty much never forgave me. I really like cold crisp weather um, wearing sweatshirts, fire football going, and chili making, and then like a pumpkin candle burning. And that's pretty much that whole scenario is like my favorite time of year. Too bad I live in Texas and it hardly ever gets cool and crisp. I don't mind spiders or bugs, but frogs, frogs freak me out. So um, don't get near me with a frog. And birds freak me out too. 
There was a pack of birds when in my old house that I um, are like mafia birds, and I'm not kidding. You think I'm joking, but they like dive bomb you. They had a hit on me. I know it. Everyone wants me to get a van because they think it's practical because I have three kids, but I'm like revolting against it. And because I have a theory, um, when you drive a van, you could be butt naked and no one would even look at you. I mean, I could just be like riding down the highway with my tats out and no one would even look. I mean, I could, I could take my kids to school naked. No one would even look because they're just like, oh, there's a van. She's a mom. Not that I want to be looked at, but it's nice that you're not just always a mom if you drive a van. I mean, who drives a van and is not a mom? If you do, I would love to know. Leave a comment below. I usually have to find things out for myself. I rarely take people's word for that it. That is like with all things. Like, if you tell me someone is a certain way, I usually have to find out that for myself. I don't ever take anyone's word for it. My friend says I have to see it, hear it, taste it, touch it, smell it to believe it. I plan on getting a tummy tuck when I lose all my weight. Yep. I said it. I talk with my hands a lot and I'm trying to like keep them still down by me because I don't want to like get them in the way. I am a Christian um, but I'm I'm really not a judgmental person um, because that's not my place. If you life. give your kid a passy after the age of three and you let them walk around with them or you give them a bottle filled with juice then I am judging you. I love roller coasters the higher the better. I hate pedicures they seem like a giant waste of money to me. I can paint my own toads at home for free. Hugh Grant annoys me. He has no talent, if you ask me. It takes no talent to talk in every single video like you have a British accent. I mean, what you do. You cannot go outside of that character. Then you have no talent. I like scary and gory movies. If I work out, you will be sure that I notify Facebook. I have a really loud and distinct laugh, and I feel like people can tell who I am or, like, if I'm in a restaurant, by my laugh. Superman is my favorite ice cream. I make awesome guacamole. It's really good. And I make my husband tell me that it's the best he ever had. Every time he has it, I make him say, this is the best I, that I've ever had. And if he doesn't say it, I like, am like, whip the guacamole out from under him. And I'm like, you have to say this is the best you ever had. I like to cook for my family, but when I bake, I always like to give it away to people. I love Michael Jackson. I was so devastated when he died that I went and saw This Is It by myself. And I'm pretty sure I cried. Don't tell anyone I said that, though. If you wear socks to bed, it makes me think you make bad decisions. Same with if you wear white socks and black sneakers. That's a combo that makes me think you make bad decisions. I love the game Two Truths and a Lie. Want to play? Normal things don't make me cry, but 90210 episodes, those make me cry. Or like Hallmark cards on those Hallmark movies, those make me cry. Every time I watch Romeo and Juliet, I keep thinking that he's going to wake up in the end and they're going to like catch each other and it's gonna, they're going to live happily ever after. Every time. If anyone farts in public, I cannot control my laughter. I, I seriously, I can't control it. One time I spent two hours scrolling through the People of Walmart website and was laughing uncontrollably. I take five minute showers because if I, I just can't take any longer. That's why um, Aussie's three minute miracle conditioner just, I don't have three minutes, I have five minutes and I don't want to spend three of those minutes conditioning my hair. I have a Michigan accent but I like to fake a southern accent. Much to my dismay, I do not have one, but that's why in my Intro to the Beauty World video, I sound like I have more of a southern accent than real life because I try and fake it because it sounds so much better than my gross accent. So I try and fake a southern accent, but it never lasts long. Sorry. The best gift I ever got was from my friend. She sent me a picture of when her mom cut her and all three of her sisters into mullets. Wait, was it four sisters? I can't remember. She has three sisters. And her and her mom cut their whole hair into mullets. I would show the picture if it weren't for privacy reasons, but but she sent me the picture of it for my birthday one year. It was the best gift I ever got. I'm not kidding you. I, I put it on my fridge and everyone asked, they're like, is that real? I'm like, no, I really know that girl. Her mom did that to them. How could she? My husband rubs my back almost every single night. I said I loved him, right? A treadmill in my room and it's purely for decoration. I ran on it a couple of times, but it just, I don't know, it wore me out. I told my mom when I was, since I was 12 that I was going to have twins when I grew up. So she thought it was pretty hilarious that I actually did. I love to watch Lifetime movies. I'm a fast driver and I have like really bad road rage, but I try and keep it under control when my kids are in the car. So I just silently give people the finger like under the dashboard. I probably have like 120 candles, but if you come to my house, I always have a candle burning. <sighs> Much to my dismay, my signature fragrance is Britney Spears' Fantasy. Um, that's what, every time I wear it, someone says that that is, like, 
the smell that reminds them the most of me and I get compliments on it but I'm always so embarrassed to tell people what I'm wearing because it just doesn't sound right to be like it's Britney Spears if someone lies to me I always remember it always and I take it into consideration in all things for some reason I just I always forgive people but I just can't forget lying I've never smoked anything in my entire life, like not even a cigarette. I have bit my nails ever since I can remember, but YouTube, making YouTube videos and like your fingers are like in the camera all the time, that makes me more aware of my nail biting problem and so I have tried to curb it. That is a hundred random facts about me. Uh, I think it's a fun video, so I tag all of you to do it. Um, I tag Shades of Cassie, Envy Makeup Lover, Prissy in Pink, um, who else? M Mel and PHS, uh, Lisette Butte, Emily from Lisette Butte, who else? I don't know. I can't remember if anyone's ever done this. I saw some girl, I think it, it's Jay, or like, my name is Jay, I forget her thing, but I saw her do it, and I just thought it was so fun. So, those are 100 random facts about me. I hope you learned something new, so I'm not just this obscure girl that comes on and talks to you about makeup. So, um, anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Mwah!